We're going to calculate the osmotic pressure in this problem. We're going to obtain a sucrose solution by dissolving 13 grams of sucrose in 117 grams of water so that the total solution has a volume of 125 milliliters. We're at 20 degrees C and the question is what is the osmotic pressure? Well, the osmotic pressure can be calculated where pi is the osmotic pressure by the molarity, how many moles per liter, the gas constant, and the absolute temperature. So the first thing we need to do is calculate molarity. And so we need number of moles per liter. So we have 13 grams of sucrose. And now what we need is the number of grams per one mole of sucrose. And so we have 12 carbons, 22 hydrogens, and 11 oxygens. Go to periodic table and look up the atomic weight for carbons, 12. So we multiply that by 12. Hydrogen, 1.01 .01 times 22. And oxygen, 16.0 times 11. So if we do this multiplication and then add the numbers together, we'll get 342.22. So 342.22 grams of sucrose per mole of sucrose. Now we have this in 125 milliliters, so this will be moles per milliliter. So we do a units conversion, 1,000 milliliters is one liter, and we calculate 0 0.304 moles per liter. So that's molarity of the solution. We now can go back to this equation and substitute in 304 moles per liter. We want to use an ideal gas constant of appropriate units, so look up an ideal gas constant this is liters pressure in bar moles temperature in kelvin and then we substitute the temperature 273.2 plus 20. and so if we do the multiplication we end up 7.4 bar this is the osmotic pressure for this sucrose solution